Hi everyone. Hey guys. Hi, welcome back to Turquoise Skies Jewelry. Uh, sorry, we're a little bit late. We had some technical difficulties with the uh, with the camera setup, so apologize about that. I'm here, Matthew James, and I'm here with uh, Maria. Hey, welcome. I'm with the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma, Mekasuki Band, and we're happy to be here today. We got some good stuff. I got some custom stuff, and Shep's got some other custom stuff. So. Yeah, we've got a. We actually have some Marcos pieces. Yeah, everyone's been asking some about Marcos. Some director pieces. So Marcos got a couple little pieces out here for sale. Uh, I've got a piece from another Navajo artist, uh, Eddie Nelson, uh, to show you. And then, and then it's the Maria show because he's got so much, <laughs> so much stuff. So um, I'll be popping out. So hey everyone, uh, let me know if you can hear us. Hi. Um, we have, uh, if you haven't been here before, welcome. Uh, this is our Turquoise Guys show that we have on Tuesdays. We do shows on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 3.30 Mountain Standard Time. That is uh, 2.30 Pacific. Uh, 5.30 Eastern. We have a late show on Thursday, which is canceled this week because of uh, Christmas, Christmas Eve. But this is the last show before Christmas. So uh, good to see you. How this works is if you see something you like as we're showing it off, just let us know in the comments uh, that you want it. You can say sold. Uh, you can say mine. Just let us know that you want it and we'll set it aside for you. Um, these pieces we have today are all one of a kind. Uh, so if someone buys it, I'm sorry, um, well congratulations to the person who bought it, <laughs> but I'm sorry to everybody else because they are one of a kind, it's first come first serve. So hi Trudy. Hey from Kansas. Hey Carl, and actually that's Kay, Kay Carl's her husband's name. So hi, welcome back, good to see you. Let us know how you're all doing today, everybody. We got 54 people in the chat. All right, on YouTube 54 people. And from Facebook. All right. Welcome, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, SW. Uh, all right, well, uh, we'll get into it. The first piece I want to show is one of Mireya's. This is an awesome piece. Um, we've got a beautiful Laramar stone right there in the center which is mined from the Dominican Republic and I believe they farm it underwater is that correct that's right yep um, this stone's kind of hard to get to and you're seeing less and less of it on the market it's a great stone and then he's got it some flanking um, white buffalo on each of the sides I really wanted to point out his stamp work check this out I mean the stamp work completely covers the entire cuff all the way around. And as a matter of fact, even the borders, it's just starting to take stamp work to the next level. You've got some chasing work, this, these, which are these repousé stamps, which is a double-sided stamp. You can see uh, the double-sided in the other side. You can see the stamp work with the Turquoise Guys artist symbol. Let's see if I can focus that a little better. Here we go. And then his hallmark there, M-A for Maria. Really awesome. I wanted to start off with this piece because this piece was just awesome. I think it's a... It is a statement piece. And uh, what are these little pieces you have here? Are these going to be earrings? Yeah, I was thinking so. Um, I was going to include them. I can make them earrings. I can mount them long ways or sideways. It just depended um, on what the client wanted. They match the pattern of it. And they're simple, but they involve a repousé which is the bump out stamping, and then I put a little bit of uh, oxidation material, which is like a chemistry reaction that causes that dark pitting, and then I come back and, and um, sand the, the rest of it off so you, you have that dark pit to, to match. So uh, they're just for additional silver pieces that match. So I, I could make some earrings out of them probably because they're lightweight. Those would be some great studs. Yeah, I thought I'd tell like it as a, as a package, make earrings and uh, the bracelet. So this is a great preview. He's got a whole package going on with his sale today and I want to leave it a mystery and just wanted to give you a preview of what's to come. Um, but I've got a couple pieces to show right before that and then we're going to get deeper into uh, Maria, Maria Alexander and his and his work. So did we want to, oh, sorry. Oh, time for the show Marco. <laughs> <laughs> did you want to tell the price or the size on this one to start out? We'll start this off. I kind of wanted to leave it a, oh, a mystery, a mystery until, and then we'll, we get we're going to get to it. Yeah. Hey Jaren, how's it going? Jaren. Hey Jaren. Shout Terry, out to Susan, Teresa, 
Kathleen. We've got Alicia Ward on YouTube. We've got another K, K Jackson. From Arkansas hey, too. Welcome to our show. All right, so I'm going to take this down, and we're going to we're going to see a lot more. Yes, Patrick, welcome. It is Laramar and White Buffalo and Silver. Hey, Pat. Glad you could join us. That's right, Laramar White Buffalo. We'll get to that piece in just a minute. We've got one really awesome uh, set to show you to start off with. This is from an artist who came in today. Uh, his name is Eddie Nelson. He's a Navajo silversmith from Magdalena. Uh, New Mexico. Uh, he has been making jewelry since 1996. Um, and he's got these beautiful baskets. Now this isn't the end of the, the set here. We've got a pendant and a set of earrings as well as a full beaded, let me just zoom out a little bit, necklace. It's a five pendant Navajo basket necklace. So I'm gonna that's, just, like, that's a little bit of copper where the. the that's right. Is. Um, I was just talking to another Navajo artist earlier today. He's doing a painting for us. His name is Frank Bluewater. And uh, we were talking about this very basket right before it showed up in the door because uh, we had a, another woven basket. Um, his sister was a medicine woman, and before she died, she she opened up to him about a few things that I really probably shouldn't be getting into. <laughs> but uh, the if you've ever seen this design on a Navajo basket, I, I should go get one actually. And um, Devin, if you're listening, can you grab that basket off the off the shelf? Um, I've got an old ceremonial basket that has a very similar design to this that the medicine people would use. Um, the centerpiece is the woman, and this is the womb. Um, and when you set the basket on the table, um, the womb is always supposed to face east. So this is east, and I know you can't see where my east and west is, but that would be east where I'm sitting right now. Yeah, we got some beautiful mountains that always show us where east is. <laughs> and as I fumble around with these pieces, this is an overlay piece on thick silver. Can you see that thickness of the silver? He's shaped it into the basket, the bowl, uh, concave shape, uh, centering it with that womb. And he's got the, the rug weave uh, Kiva step pattern. These are Kiva steps. And each one of these little textures in here is hand stamped. They are not cast. This is silver overlay. So we've got one piece of metal overlaid on top of another with these geometric patterns cut out. And then he textured the piece with a hammer and hand hammered every single little notch to create that basket weave pattern. Yeah, it's a great radial pattern too. That takes some, it's not, it's all going into the center, which is a hard thing to do. It takes some time and like patience. It takes a lot of time. And I think the frustration with a piece like this uh, I'm sorry, it's not frustrating with a piece like this, but the frustration in this industry is a piece like this would that takes so much time to make. And it takes an incredible amount of time and patience to make all of the matching components. And we've got some casters overseas that are making copies of the, this piece. They are, uh, they're making molds and then they're just casting them without the artist's permission, with the artist names on it. Wow. And so this is his hallmark right now, Eddie Nelson, Eddie J. Nelson. And uh, yeah, he is Navajo. Um, he is uh, born Apache to the uh, two people of the water, this is his clan. Um, and he came in today because uh, he, he, he's shopping for Christmas. <laughs> and, uh, like all of us. <laughs> yeah, he, he brought the jewelry in to sell so he can, he can have some money for Christmas presents for his, uh, for his nieces and nephews, um, who I met today as well. Uh, his aunt, oh, I wrote down who his aunt's name was. because Oh, Nora Montoya. Nora Montoya is a pretty well-known Navajo silversmith. That was his inspiration and his aunt. 
Uh, he's a second generation Smith. Um, his family were Smiths, but uh, his aunt in particular is a very well known uh, Navajo silversmith. She's been in some magazines and she taught him a lot of, it, a lot of his trade. So anyway, uh, he has the pendant, the earrings, and the five pendant necklace um, strung on two strands of seamless beads, sterling silver, um, for $1,800 today. So if you're interested in this piece, uh, this is piece number one, and this will be uh, $1,800. And we'll come back to this piece a little bit later. Um, the necklace measures, if I borrow that measuring tape real fast. Thank you. Uh, we're at 20, 23 inches. It's a 23 inch necklace. And uh, it's got the high polished beads, seamless beads on uh, sterling silver with the oxidized basket design, $1,800. All right, I'm gonna take that away. And we'll come back to it in a few minutes. It's beautiful. Yeah, any questions on that piece? Gorgeous. I just love the radial design. It's so mm. nice to see. I'm just going to leave this right back here. <laughs> balance right everything there. on one yeah, little balance block. Balance on our <laughs> uh, Next we have item number two, which is by our very own Marco Rivera. Yeah, these are the first pieces yeah. you'll see of mine. First pieces from the great Marco Rivera. So I guess I'll talk a little bit about Yeah, these tell us about these pieces. What's so going on? So most of my design, like I do not have any ties to like any traditional jewelry, but I've experienced it all my life. But what I have experienced is a lot of music and science and math. And what this design is, it's called the Fibonacci sequence. And it's a mathematical design and equation that comes across in nature. You can, you'll probably heard of something called the golden ratio. Three, six, nine. And yeah, three, six, nine, yeah. And it's just the repetitive pattern like that you'll see. So you can see that this curve just keeps continuing and you'll find all those triangles in it. And in a lot of my other pieces, you'll, you'll, you can cut some of those and get the same exact design. Like you can see it in some of the smaller silver ones we'll show later. But this is basically a, the Fibonacci sequence is what is called a fractal, and fractals are just infinite, infinitely, always, like, never repeating um, mathematical equations. And you can find a fractal in a pine cone, for example, in, in a lot of, like, native designs, too, there are, there are elements of fractals, and a lot of nature, too. Like, I think one of my favorite things about the Fibonacci sequence, it's kind of funny, the, ways, the way bunnies reproduce, like if you went through each one, each different generation, that would be the Fibonacci sequence. Hmm. Like each number, it goes like one, one, two, three, so on and so on. But these were the first pieces I ever made when I was still in school, so this is very early of my work, and I've just been creating some more uh, very different, like not like nowhere near this this like type of design. But whenever I do any any what is it called? lines, I guess. I just stick with one one idea for a little bit, and I'm like, okay, that design is done. That's forever, okay. And then these are all that I have left, and it's, it's nice to get them out there. Awesome, and yeah, it's great to see a piece of your work. I know everyone gets to hear your voice. <laughs> it's good to see some of that art. So these pieces, uh, they're, what are they, uh, bronze? Yeah, they're cast bronze, but each one is unique because of the the flanging and the way it's cut as well. Let, let some of that natural flashing happen and uh, kind of just left it organically that way and that's how they are. So how much are these pieces running today? So since they're bronze, I'm gonna, and I, I've had them for a while, I'm gonna keep them at $60 a pair. So in the bottom right, those are studs. And in the top left, those are actually French hook, um, French hook handmade earring hooks as well. And they all have like unique twisted jump rings on them. And oh my gosh, I spent, I remember when I made all those, uh, all those French hooks, they were, they were so, <laughs> so time consuming, but really fun. It was a great practice. 
Well, great. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, that's a beautiful that space. So $60. Uh, number two, we've got the number two studs and the number two uh, French, dang, hook. French hook dangle earrings by Mr. Marco Rivera. Beautiful, Marco. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Catherine, too. Oh, sad you don't wear earrings. I should have made them into rings, too. And it's $60 per set. Yes, right? each, yeah. Each set. So you'll see in these ones, there's some smaller Fibonacci's that are actually made in silver. And you can see that they were all made from the same wax. And then if you just cut them down, you'll get the same exact design because it's just a repeating design that goes on forever. Was it Tesla or Einstein or somebody else? Um, Tesla really Fib got into it. Yeah, Tesla was a bit like all the mathematicians will have some dealings in fractals. Yes, yeah. Tesla was obsessed with it though. I mean, oh, he, yeah. he was so obsessed with the 369 that he would drive his round, around his building three times every time he came home <laughs> just to make sure that he was doing things in threes. He got a little, little crazy with it. That's and, awesome. So we've got these in silver as well. And uh, they're a little bit smaller than the bronze, but they are sterling silver. Are they heavy, Marco? I mean, I don't wear earrings, but so I wouldn't really know. We could weigh them. Yeah, we don't have the scale down here, but I've been told that by my mom, who wears a lot of earrings, yeah. she doesn't find them too heavy, but she wears like very big turquoise earrings. So I, I doubt she finds a lot of things heavy. Bronze is actually lighter than silver. So the, the bigger bronze pieces are much lighter than they appear. Um, they're about 80% the weight of silver. And those bronze are 60. Um, we've got some of the Fibonacci uh, sterling silver earrings. Thank you. Yeah, since they asked. I'll give, you a, I'll give you a gram weight if you'd like. So the large bronze, each earring individually weighs about six and a half grams whereas the the silver weigh about four grams and they're a little smaller uh, we also have this looks like hand hammered hoop or yeah that's actually rolled by I rolled that myself so that's from scraps I melted down some stuff rolled it out and then I rolled out sheet and made this like, I used circle punches and then rolled it out some more to get this really cool oval. And then I just hand stamped everything or hand hammered it with a small pin hammer. And they're just on silver studs too. And these ones are super cool. I like these ones because they're super light, but that, that little stamping just makes them flash really nicely. Yep, they're about three grams. Awesome, it's great to see some of your work. Yeah, yeah. much more to come soon. All right, and that is it for my, pre, my pre-show jewelry. Now it's time for the main course, or the, uh, the main artist is <laughs> stepping up to the stage. <laughs> I thought you were drinking moonshine. I'm not disclosing what I'm drinking, oh. Karen. <laughs> it's none sold. of anybody's business. <laughs> Sterling silver oval stud sold, Marco, Thank to you, Trudy. Trudy. Yeah, nice. Dang. Congratulations, Judy. Uh, doing my little happy dance back here. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> All right, we'll set those aside for you, Trudy. Thank you so much. Uh, you know how this works. And um, uh, those original Marco Rivera's. Oh, yeah. Cool. We still have the Fibonacci on there, and uh, we'll come back to those a little bit later. In the meantime, I'm going to get this plexiglass board out of the way, and I'm going to leave myself and give, give the full stage here. Thanks. To Maria. All right. Thank you. All right. So don't mind me. Just uh. Ding ding ding. Oh, Fibonacci down. It's not getting Fibonacci. Never down. These are strong. There you go. Oh look, Diego's in the chat too, ringing his bell. Nice, nice. No, care. I'm not drinking moonshine. I'm a lightweight. If I drank moonshine like that, I'd be done. I, I rarely ever drink, ever. But not to judge anybody that does. But anyways, uh, thank you guys for joining us today. I've been working a lot. I've been traveling a lot. Some of you have seen me a few times. I'm from the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma, Mekasuki Band, Bird Clan. It's my family. 
and I've just had an amazing, refreshing year. Uh, it all started back in early February. I actually got fired uh, from a company that I had a pretty high up position in, and very um, structured and a lot of legalese and engineering and different things like that. And um, I took off on a motorcycle journey across the nation a few times and just traveled for most of the year. And then the whole COVID thing happened, which was the perfect timing. So I just spent a lot of time in national forests and mountains and went to, actually went down to the Florida Keys from New Mexico on my bike and then came back out west and, and just been around. Uh, traveling and it's just been so refreshing and so coming back in as I'm working on some other things including starting another company which is exciting to me um, I've been tapping into my artistic side and just birthing a lot of unique pieces to me and just trying to put my energy into this which is literally been, tapping in with your all your stamps <laughs> yeah yeah tapping in literally and metaphorically yes had to throw in the pun sorry had yeah, to it. <laughs> it's good no I welcome the puns Marco's got good humor consistently we have a lot of fun here at the shop and um, so it's just been fun. Part, the jewelry, it, it's part of me that I'm releasing energetically into the piece. And recently I'm into third brown uh, belt in Shaolin Kung Fu. So I've been doing a lot of energy work with Tai Chi and things like that. And I just feel like this medium of art, which I've done other mediums of art before, including uh, pastels and chalks and paintings and drawings and different things and did a lot of construction in my youth. And, but releasing your energy into this medium is so life-giving especially when, you, when you're putting it out there in the world, people are buying it and you're giving it away. I've given away a lot of pieces, uh, but today I got some that, that I'm planning on selling and I've been getting a lot of good feedback from you guys on like what's what you want, what you like, what you don't want. I've sold some good pieces. I, I really appreciate y'all's business. And so today I got a range of some like lower end price range stuff with copper and then I got a few uh, silver pieces where I use some nice quality exotic stones in them that are a little bit more uh, pricier than the, than the lower end stuff. But uh, if you've seen me before, I've been working on a series called the Desert Series, which was inspired during my weeks of time riding on my motorcycle, camping in the deserts in Southwest and Arizona and New Mexico, and there was even a desert I went to in, in Colorado. And um, so I want to start with one that I call the Desert Sunrise. And um, this is fun. This is copper, and it has its stamp work, it's about an inch, maybe, a, I always do like a hair more than, than what I'm doing, so it's like an inch and a sixteenth, just so you get what you, what you pay for. And I got some stamp work in here, oh, and nice. some of it represents the vegetation that you see in some of the desert, which is kind of low-lying brush, sharp pointed stuff, and then the yucca plant, which is the New Mexico state plant. So I got one, two, three yucca plants, and then I got a, a sun, which is a piece of turquoise, on this turquoise is wrapped in a silver bezel on a silver back plate, and then I did some stamp work around the border. And I plan on making more of these, and this is going to be the Desert Sunrise. And I have a few other Desert Series um, pieces as well. So th this piece is simple, but it's stylish. It's kind of exotic. Um, Great polish on it. Too. Thank I'd you. Love to see that. Yeah, I did a polished that finish. Mirror. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice mirror finish. Um, unfortunately, well, it's fortunately for whoever gets this one, but. Unfortunately, I used a stone that was a little bit large for what I wanted, including the, the backplate border, because if you look behind it, I stamped out some rays um, that represent the sun rays. So I might use a smaller uh, sunstone in the future just to get the proportion right, but I'm going to make these and I'm going to sell these for $66, and it's just a single stone with some stamp, stamp work and copper, and it represents my time in the deserts, and it's called the Desert Sunrise, which I experienced multiple times camping. Uh, I love it too. It's, it's very simple and plain, but still something special. And I'm stepping up my, my offerings and trying to brand myself more. Um, and I'm, I'm offering these uh, Certificate of Authenticities from yours truly. And I just want to read one to you so you know what I'm writing on here. So it says, and this is, by the way, this is hemp paper. I'm a big fan of hemp. I grew some plants this past year and I didn't get to harvest any of it. The birds came and ate it, and they ate all of my vegetation, all the blood. And I let them. I was happy for them. You know, hey, they need they those love some too, almost as much as you. <laughs> yeah, it's high in omegas, high in protein, so that's gonna bless the next generation of birds in the area where I was. So I'm, I'm happy about it. Anyways, this is hemp paper. It's certificate of authenticity. Murray Alexander, Seminole Nation of Oklahoma, Mekasuki Band, and then I, I sign it with my signature on there. And then I got the Desert Sunrise. It's a bracelet cuff with copper and a turquoise stone, and it is a Desert Series collection. I just have a short little paragraph I'm gonna read, and then I'm gonna keep moving on. 
an enchanting series inspired by adventures on motorcycle throughout the southwest of the United States, incorporating turquoise stones set in silver with custom stamp work symbolizing the setting, the rising sun rays, and the desert plains, sporadic vegetation, the yucca, New Mexico state plant, as well as textured background finish giving the piece a smooth feel of how the wind texturizes the vast blanket of sand. Um, so it, it's, uh, it's fun, you know, I wanted to give a little bit more detail and meaning where the inspiration came from with how I created this piece. Thank you, thank you, Matko. So I have these, these certificate of authenticities made with hemp paper, and then I also have these little glass vials, three milliliters of, uh, yeah, let me show a close up, of, of sand from the sacred land of New Mexico and the land of enchantment. And I, I glued a little piece of turquoise on the cork top, which I thought would add a little cute element to like the package. It. And then I'm also including these bundles of sages with flowers wrapped in it as well, as well as a certificate of authenticity. So I'm trying to make this a little bit of like a little package. Um, so if you want to buy one of these as a gift, it's, it's fun. People feel like they're getting a little package and they're getting a little bit more and it's got a story to it and, and it's from a specific artist. So. That's, that's the package that I'm offering now with all of my pieces. So this is going to be all for free included with it. And uh, I'm just going to leave these here for fun so you can see it as I show these pieces going forward. So that's that. That is the Desert Sunrise. And it's one stone. It's the stamp work. And I'm going to keep moving on to some other pieces. What's the size on that one before we get out of it? Uh, the size, which I can make any size. This one's going to be, as of right now, I think it's about... That one's five and a half. Right, with an inch gap? Or? Um, let me take this, this thing off. Yeah, it's a little toasty today. <laughs> yeah, and you know, these scarves and these masks, sometimes I sneeze from, from the masks. Oh, you know? dude, same. It's not I even. I catch myself. Yeah. It's, a lot. <laughs> it's causing me like more clogging respiratory wearing these, these things. But, anyways, uh, it's about an inch, inch gap and about five and a half inch length from tip to tip on that. Yeah. The inside so it's a thing. six and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, six and a half. And I, I can make them small, I can make them huge, um, whatever you want. But I wanted to have something that's, you know, a little bit more simple and affordable price for angel eyes. Uh, $66 for the turquoise, uh, for the desert sunrise, sorry. Sold to Linda. Or nice. 60? Wait, it's, so, so it's for 66 yeah. Yeah, I, I sell them for 66 and it, it includes the, the little things as well. So, um, Linda, we can, we can talk later if you want. Um, also, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on. Uh, oh. Diane, nice. We got oh, no. Diane. It goes to Linda. She still wants it for sixty-six. Okay. Well, I, I'm gonna make a bunch of these. So if awesome. they if they want, yeah, whoever wants one, I'm gonna make. This is gonna be a series, my desert sunrise. So I'll make more of these things. Thank you guys. Thank and you, ladies. I'll, I'll write that down for you. Awesome. It's a perfect gift. Um, so I'm gonna start uh, next with some silver, some silver work I did. This is a piece that's. First of all, I do a lot of, I've been doing stamp work, and the kind of stamp work I started with this is called repousé, it sounds French, and it's bump out, and you can see it along the main spine, the center line, how some of those, those circles, those ovals are bulged, and then I do some intricate stamp work around them and in between them, and it just gives it kind of almost like an Aztec, native, uh, definitely Southwest Native American style, and what I like about this piece is the, the border that I did around the stones with the stamp work as well. This one I actually sawed kind of a flower pattern around it, and I actually did some indentation around the bezel too. Hold on, sorry, I'm having a little bit of, will you raise the camera just a little bit? Yeah, just, just zoom it out a little go. bit. Oh, you wanna give me that copper piece so I right can keep it working just with a Well, I might, I'll just, I'm gonna have a few of these, I'll just leave it here. Okay. I'm just gonna put it with her, so. Thanks, she she go. Thank you. Perfect. So this piece, um, I got some stamp work around the flat plates to support the bezels of the stone. I have a turquoise on the side, a turquoise on the other side. I try to match the side turquoise pieces in size and in shape, but every stone is different and unique, so that's going to be a little different. And then the big center stone is Wild Horse, and I believe that's um, about maybe nine, ten carats, somewhere around there, nine and a half carats. I mean, it's a lot of stone. It's pretty thick. And uh, I think I put a little bit of sawdust down underneath that, which is the proper way of setting stones to give it a little bit of cushion proportionality so it fits snug. I do that on my high-end big stones. And then I got my, my signature on the inside. Um, 
Murea, M-A, and then this season of my life I'm working exclusively with T-Sky, so I incorporate their logo in this. So this is the first season of my life where I'm marketing and selling jewelry and gifting jewelry. And so these T-Sky stamps, I won't always have those. Uh, this is where I'm at right now. So these are, these are my first days, my first seasons. And actually shout out to Patrick for buying my first piece of silver ever. And I'd like to follow up with you and, and gift you something in addition to it, as well as these little certificate of authenticities for Patrick. And we appreciate your business. So I got some stone, some stamp work, represé, uh, silver. It's a nice cuff. Let me get the measurement on this, and then uh, we'll get a price on this, too. Well, Patrick already knows he wants that Laramar piece. <laughs> Laramar's we'll coming. We'll put it aside for you, Patrick. We'll ring the bell. So this one's <laughs> five and three quarters. But, uh, with an inch and a quarter gap, so it's a, it's a little bit bigger. Five and three quarters. Yeah, but you can always. Uh, so that's six and a half still. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That one I think I'm gonna let go for 280, and again it comes with the certificate of authenticity, uh, custom bundle of sage with flowers, the, the sand from New Mexico, which is the land of enchantment. It's very sacred, and uh, the turquoise on the on the cap. 280 silver repose. We got oxidation in the stamp work to give it a, a blackening effect and to give it depth. And so I, I really like that piece. And that's that awesome. one. That one will be number five. Oh, that's four. Right? Oh, okay. Five, yeah. Okay, four. I'm just going in order. Two. And then... Thank you, Marco. So Patrick wanted that Laramar cuff. Okay. Uh, did you want to give out a price to him so he knows... Uh, the Laramar? Where did it go? I think it's... I don't know which side it's on. I feel like it's on... Your side. Oh, here it is. Oh, sorry, it's in the middle. Uh, okay. So the Malaria Bar, uh, I'll probably do it for 285 I hope that doesn't hurt anybody's feelings, Patrick, but it's a yeah. beautiful, nice, thick piece of stone. Got white buffalo on there. Similar stamp work, I got some repose and the oxidation in the pits of it to give it depth. I got my signature on the inside. And then again, when you look at the inside, you can see that repose, those divots from the inside. So it's a double, it's a double process with the stamping that, that allows these to bump out a little bit. So this one's with Laramar, and I like this one because I did some stamping around the border of the Laramar just to kind of show it off. And um, this white buffalo is a lot thicker than this white buffalo, so the, the bezel on this is thinner than this. And that's kind of a unique anomaly. Sometimes with these custom pieces, there's little imperfections, but they're like anomalies, and they're actually perfect because there, there's no wrong way to make art, is what I've learned uh, of being an artist. So What's the size on that one? Let me see the size on this thing. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> Chat to be smooth. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today, guys. If you're just tuning in, we're going over some custom jewelry I've been working on. I got a variety. I got some silver. I got some copper. I got some different price range, different style stuff, different stones. This one with the Laramar is about five and a quarter. Five and a quarter with, let's see, I don't want to. Five and a quarter to six and a half. What would that be? Three quarters plus a half, so inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter gap from five and a quarter. So ultimately six and three quarters. So six and three quarters. Patrick, if you want something a little bit bigger, I can custom make something if this doesn't uh, suit your fancy. You said 285 for this one? Yes, sir. And this one also comes with the earrings or these pendants. I can make I can make whatever you want with these. Uh, these are just included with it that match. So if you want it to be a pendant or two pendants or two earrings or Whatever you want it to be, um, we can custom make anything. So, yeah. So if you want this one, Patrick, you said sold before. Just clarify with us if this is the one you want. And or get with Moray and get a custom piece. Yeah, or I can make something similar. I think I have a, just a couple more pieces of Laramar in my stock, and I've ordered some other exciting stones from around the world that I'm gonna get, be calving up soon and be making custom pieces. It looks like Chef's got something to show us real quick. I just wanted to show off this basket. You see this basket? Oh, that is the same design. That's super cool. Yeah, that's yeah, huge. This too. is a uh, this oh, is a is a vintage old yeah. ceremonial basket from the Navajo Nation. You can see the the old crusty parts of the corn uh, corn flour that they would use. The corn flour um, to the Navajo is uh, is like their holy water, mm -hmm. and so they use it to bless. And for weddings and ceremony, you would have it in your basket, and you would do the blessing. But that's uh, the design. There is uh, the, the what I wanted to bring back. How it matched the 
earrings and everything. I hope I didn't break the momentum. No. I just wanted to show this off. That's, that's nice. yeah, where it came from. That. And that's in reference to a piece Shep showed earlier that incorporated that exact basket, which is used in ceremonies, and he wanted to, to show it again. So that's the basket that the piece is designed off of. Yeah. So uh, if you're joining us, welcome. I'm Urea of the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma, Mexican band, and we're just showing off some, some custom pieces that I've made recently. I've got some copper stuff and some silver stuff. I've shown a few already, and I'm going to keep going. All right. Are you good, Marco? Let's move on. Yeah, just okay. bump the light. <laughs> what do you want to call it, number five? Yeah, that one we'll do next, number five. Okay. So moving on to number six. All right. Number six. I'm going to show off some copper. Um, this is another Laramar, which I love. Mm. This is uh, a little over inch width and it's a uh, it's a heavy gauge it's a 16 gauge it's around 66 grams this piece so it's a little over two ounces I think uh, it's heavy and I did a lot of stamp work in this with the repousse and I did a satin finish and um, it's beautiful so you got that oxidized pitted style to it and this has a silver bezel silver back plate on copper and um, this one I'm actually gifting it to a friend of mine that taught me the fundamental biomechanics of CrossFit for about nine months. And he's an amazing friend of mine, and I wanted to honor him and, and what he's sowed into me in my life. I've had a lot of good coaches and leaders that I've received from, and so I actually made this custom piece for him. Ah, uh, so you're show. just teasing him with it. <laughs> yeah, this was up for sale. <laughs> this is to a friend of mine. But I have one just like it that I'm going to show next, and this is also a Laramar. Oh, okay. And again, the Laramar is a stone from the Dominican Republic. They farm it underwater, and there's less and less of it from what Shep has told me. It's harder to get a hold of nowadays. Um, it's a nice, I mean, these are nice. I want to get a measurement on the stone just so you can appreciate the, the size of the stones that I'm using. I got these tassels on my jacket. I'm trying not to knock everything over in the process. Uh, it's about an inch um, by about five-eighths. Yeah, and then right. you're looking at about to three eighths uh, depth. So the stone itself has got some, some girth, it's got some mass. Yeah. And that's why I chose a nice 16 gauge thick uh, piece yeah. of copper to be able to handle something like that. I love the copper and the border you did on the side. Yeah, Very I like nice. the bordering. Every time I do a stamp, piece of stamp work, I always try to do something a little bit different and just like customize it. And um, I like the border on this one. This one's very interesting. I like. Is this another desert series? No, this would just be. Um, so I'm gonna do seasonal series. So this is just a winter 2020. Winter 2020. And um, I was whenever I get I get to the corners, I'm always thinking like, how am I gonna finish this off without it being too tacky? So I always try to do something different for the corners when I'm doing stamp work. They kind of um, smoothly tie in the, the, the stamp work to complete it. So I, I like the way this turned out. I got repose on there. Yeah, I love oh. those stamps. I haven't seen those before. There's my, my signature, which is upside down. The T-Skies logo, which is the shop I'm exclusively working out of. And then M.A. Murray Alexander, it's upside down right there. And then the Laramar. And I yeah. even did some stamp work around the flat plate that the stone is resting on uh, beside the bezel. So I'm, I think I'm going to let let go of some of these copper ones. Well, let's get a size on it first before we, okay. before we get them the price. Okay, sure thing, buddy. Let's see here. <clears throat> Five and three quarters to seven. So uh, about an eighth less than seven total. And then uh, five and three quarters. Because you could probably stretch it out a little bit just to make it that full seven. Yeah, any of these you can adjust, or I can adjust them for you, or I can make something else custom for you. Uh, these are just seasonal ones that I've been cranking out with some beautiful stone inventory that we've had. And so I got a couple Laramore pieces, and this is one of the, I might have just a couple more left, probably not more than five more Laramore stones, which is not a lot compared to how much turquoise we have and other stones available. Uh, Laramar is something kind of rare. I like it because it's blue, but it also looks like a little quartzy, like it's got some white yeah. in there and then some of the black veins. And I like the oxidation, how it kind of matches the black um, in the stone, the veins. And these copper ones, uh, I think I'm going to let go for $160. Uh, $160. And again, it comes with a certificate of authenticity uh, made on hemp paper. And I got these natural edges to the paper. That's just another little detail that I like. And then I got these little sage bundles. And I have all different styles of sage bundles. 
um, so with different flowers assortments. You oh, never know what oh, you're gonna get from that's me. That's cute. I like yeah, that. that one's cute. This one's cute. I mean, they're all. I think "cute" is the right word, and I don't use that word a lot. <laughs> I don't use the word lightly. <laughs> but uh, uh, Patrick Swimming Sweet. Yes. Oh, and Denise wants it. Thank you. Uh, Hi. Denise Beach of Patrick. Oh, sorry, Patrick. <laughs> yeah, Denise. Nice. Uh, you get the whole little package: certificate of authenticity, sage, and the vial of sand. So we'll write this one to Denise. Landmark Copper Cup. Number six. Landmark Copper Cup. Bear with me one minute while I write this down. Oh, you got it? Okay. Uh, number six. Denise, what's her last name? Denise name? Moore, M O O R E. M O O R E. Nice. I have a friend with that last name. Um, lives in a different state. Anyways, uh, moving right along. Thanks, Denise. I'm excited. And uh, I'll give you guys my contact info. So you know, I look forward to hearing from y'all when you get a piece from me. You know, I'd love to. to Experience yeah. your reaction with it. There's that inner circle, y'all. Yeah, and same with you, Patrick. I've been meaning to, to follow up with you. You got my first silver piece ever, and I got my my first stamp piece ever, and I'll never get rid of that for the rest of my life. But you got my first silver piece, and I'm really honored that, that you have that. So I want to connect with you at some point and just see see how it, how it is for you. All right, moving along. Next, I got something similar for you guys. Uh, same price. I'm gonna do the same thing. It's copper. And um, Ooh, this bumblebee. is bumblebee jasper, and that's a nice size stone. I want to get a measurement on the stone for you because it's just it's fun to me. I like I like using a lot of stone. It's about it's about a heavy inch, inch and a thirty second maybe, by about seven eighths, uh, triangular from from the apex to the base, and um, it's it's wrapped with silver bezel. That's fine silver, not sterling, and then a, a silver base plate to support the cup of the stone. And we got similar repousse, which is the bump out style of stamping. Um, and then I incorporated other types of stamps around the repousse. And then again, I like the corner finish on that. And this is a thick piece. These are about 66 grams each uh, with the stone and the copper. I got my signature on the inside. And then you can see the, the second part of the repousse bump out from the other side of the, the, the piece as well. This is Bumblebee Jasper. And again, it comes with the sage. And they're all gonna be a little bit different. You know, I got ones with different style of flowers. This one actually has a couple orange peels in it. Um, <laughs> I've Those been blood orange? Uh, I think they could be, yeah. I've been trying to get fancy. This one's got rosemary in it too. And, um, and then we have the vial of sand with the turquoise stone on it. And then the, the certificate of authenticity with hemp, hemp paper. And so this I'm gonna let go for also 160, and this is just a winter 2020 What's season the piece. The size on this one too. The size on this puppy. Let's see here. We're looking at five and three quarter. Five and three quarter to. Six and a half. Yeah. So I can I can always increase the gap. I can lessen it. I can I can do anything. Um, another thing I wanted to bring up is when I make custom pieces or seasonal pieces, I'll usually wear it for like one to three days after I make it. And I've been doing a lot of Tai Chi, uh, which is like slow down meditation and motion, but it, and uh, some a little bit of martial arts mixed in. So. I, I try to abuse these things a little bit without scratching them up and stuff just to make sure the welds are good and everything's going to be solid. I always use an extra amount of solder and Devin actually gets on to me. He's like, you're wasting so much. You don't need to use that much. I'm like, yeah, but I like it beefy. I like it thick. <laughs> and that's why, that's why I do my base plates on my, on my bezels as well. A lot of people will just do bezels straight to the cuff just to save money on material. But I, do, I like to make the construction a little bit more hardy. And so I do a bezel to base plate and then base plate to cuff. And it's more metal, more cost for me, but it's going to last a lifetime. And I also include a lifetime guarantee for all the pieces that I make. So if you ever have a, an issue with it, just contact me. And I would love to talk with you about it and, and help you uh, fix it or give you a new one or, you know, whatever kind of recourse you want to take. I'm very open and reasonable and I want you to be happy for the lifetime of the piece. These are lifetime pieces and there will be an inheritance one day. These are, these are beautiful. I'm putting a little bit of my soul into these. So. That's the Bumblebee Jasper cuff, and it comes with the little the kit of the things, and uh, it's a beautiful stone. 
And again, I did the oxidized pitting finish from the stamp work to match some of the black veins in the stone. So there we go. There's that one. I'm going to keep moving along. What was that, number seven? Yeah, on to number eight. Number eight. We got another Bumblebee Jasper. This one's square. And this one has stamp work around the flat plate of the silver flat plate holding the stone in. I'm going to do the same price on this, $160. And I do a repose finish on stamp work with a black oxidation. And the cool thing about this is that if you notice, the stone is a little bit off center. And I actually like making things a little bit imperfect uh, as I go with my custom pieces because you know it's hand done. It's got that hand done element to it in the stamp work, but also in the stone setting. It's just a little bit off. But when you wear it on the wrist, it, it looks amazing. You don't even notice it. And uh, that's just one of the beautiful things about handmade stuff is it's not mathematically correct to the hundredth of a decimal. There's my signature. There's the uh, backside of the repose. I got a shiny sheen finish on the inside. And then I have my oxidized uh, pitted finish on the inside, on the outside that matches. I, I do this black oxidation occasionally just to match the, the blackness in the vein in the stone. And it just gives it some character. And it's a little bit of a satin finish. So these will age well. Because of the satin finish, uh, if you're somewhere where there's a lot of humidity, it might tarnish nicely. And a lot of people like that. And some people even pay more for that. And, um, later on, if you have like a vintage piece, it increases the value of it and gives it the age of it. And then again, got the little glass vial of some sacred sand from the land of enchantment in New Mexico from my, my motorcycle journeys. And then I got a little turquoise on there, a little bottle of sage, and I mean a little wrap of sage and a little uh, certificate of authenticity made of hemp. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all these copper pieces at the same price, it's the same size. It's five and three quarters, 16 gauge, which is real thick and heavy. It's about 66 grams. All these, I weighed them out. They're around there, maybe more or less, just a little bit. And then it's about an inch wide, maybe an inch and 16th. I always make my, my measurements heavy just to give a lot of good value. So that's the Bumblebee Jasper number eight, I believe. Yep. I'm going to keep moving along. Hope you guys have had an awesome season. I've had an epic season. I've had an epic time in New Mexico lately. Just so many good things to be thankful for. I actually spent some time in the mountains of the Sandia last night and soaked in the sunset. I went on a hike. If any of y'all ever come visit and want to go do a hike and get coffee, let me know. The, uh, the foothills come alive in the evening. There's a life oh, yeah. to them. Have you noticed that, Marco? Oh, yeah. That's why they're called the Sandias. Whenever there's a sunset, the yeah. mountains turn pink and purple like oh, yeah. it's gorgeous. Oh man, it's incredible. And then there's actually something called sun gazing. I don't know if you all have heard about this, but in the very first part of the day, in the very last part of the day, where the sun is technically the farthest away from you, the frequency of the rays are at a safe enough range to receive into your pupils. And it's like the last 30 minutes, the first 30 minutes, but you have to build up to receiving that, the frequency of the sun rays uh, in 10 second increments per day is what they recommend to be safe. So if you, if you watch, if you look at that, there's actually a little bit of science that they have that can heal things in, inside of you and how your, your pupils connected to your retina and your brain and your central nervous system and everything else and how it just, it kind of detoxes and energizes and it de cleans. Just, it's good. <laughs> you have to look it up. It's called sun gazing. It's a little esoteric spiritual practice, but it's not, you're not worshiping anything. You're just receiving sunlight. It's natural and it's safe uh, in the very beginning of the very end. Yeah, and Sarah mentioned you can see Jupiter or Saturn right now, right next to each other. It's so funny. I was at the grocery store last night and the security guard got my attention because we had a little dialogue and uh, he's like, look at that. He's like, it happens every 800 years. And I was like, I think it happens every 1200 years. But I could be wrong, and he just kind of laughed. It's like, who knows? Like, you just keep making the number bigger. Yeah. I don't know. The last time it happened. Yeah. The last time it happened is a long time. It's not going to happen again for another long time. Uh, yeah, I can. Somebody asked, can the bumblebee made one made into a seven? Uh, I think he means like seven. Yes, it can be made into a seven. Yes. Right, so you said all your copper are all the same sizes? The six and a half? Cool. Uh, well, they're five and three quarter. And then um, including the gap? And then I can make the gap a little bit bigger. Um, I, I kind of made them tight for right now, just to, I don't know, I just, just did. But I can, a seven's, yeah, they're like um, an eighth less than a seven. So I can, you know, to stretch it a sixteenth on both sides uh, with a widening, with a little tool I have, is very doable and it's not going to affect the stone or anything. It's not going to affect, it's not going to make it more loose and more susceptible to it falling off. So 
Yeah, seven's not a stretch at all. So, so if um, you need some more if you want it, if you can make it into a seven, just let us know. Yeah, let us know. Um, Sarah said I heard 800 years ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I, scientists would know. Uh, oh, yeah. So thanks for sharing that, Sarah. Yeah, it's beautiful. And uh, Denise wants to see the bumblebee again. The square one? Or the, uh, the square one or the triangle one? I'll show them both. Yeah. Um, let's see. So number seven was the triangular one, and the square one was number eight. Yes. So they're both similar. But like I said earlier. I do like the square one a lot. Yeah. It's a little off center. It's very cool. Yeah, and I like the stamp work around the flat plate, around the bezel. But every stamp, every time I do stamping, they might be close and similar, but they're always going to be a little different. There's always little variations in some ways, and they're always unique and custom. And remember, this comes as a little package with a certificate of authenticity on hemp paper, a sage bundle, and my little glass vial of sacred sand from the land of enchantment with a piece of turquoise on top. And um, so it's a perfect little gift package and it's, it's intimate. And I'm excited to get these out for the holidays. It's a perfect little gift with my, my signature stamp on the inside. So they're both 160, uh, Denise, and they're both Bumblebee Jasper. They're just different shapes. They're about probably similar in mass as far as the size of the, the stone goes, as well as the whole piece. Uh, they're both 16 gauge, which is like a real thick, heavy duty. I mean, you would not want to take one of these things to the face if someone threw this at you. Um, you know, these they're thick. I don't know why I said it like that, but <laughs> they, these things are, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they got a little weight to them, so. Um, they're durable. Yeah, they're durable. <laughs> they're durable, yeah. I actually um, left a piece by a campfire in Colorado one time up in Pagosa Springs where I think I might have saw a Sasquatch. And uh, I just, I left the piece on accident. It was dark, but, you know, hopefully somebody will get it. And it's definitely a, you know, a nice thick piece. And it's, sometimes you get sad about losing things, but sometimes it's good to just focus on somebody else benefiting from what your loss, you know. Mm -hmm. So anyways, yep, those are both 160, both of them will be Jasper. And, uh... <laughs> I'm having fun. This oh, is yeah. all my, my uh, 2020 winter seasonal pieces. And the fun thing about these seasonal pieces is like stones, they come around. And when you come across some high quality, unique stones that have intricate character and patterns, that's it. You come across them once and they're unique. And you, if you get them, you make something nice, that's, you know, it's, it's, it's limited. You know, it's custom. It's, Winter 2020, seasonal pieces. I'm going to start doing seasonal pieces as well as my series. So I want to move on to a piece of silver, which would be nine. Um, some of you all have seen this before. And this is my desert sunset. I showed you the desert sunrise earlier. Uh, this is a desert sunset. So it's, it's silver. It's about an inch wide. It's got that hammered finish on the background. I got the stamp vegetation on the bottom. I got a turquoise piece for the sun, I got stamping for the sun rays, and then I got two yucca plants. And these have stones for the main head of the plant. And this piece I actually gave as a gift to a friend of mine's mother, who is my friend. And she has two children, and that's why I did the two plants with the two stones to commemorate the two children that she has, the, of how I, how I was able to connect with her. So that's an inch wide, and then this comes as a set. And this oh, yeah. is a copper piece and if you notice on the bottom I got some stamp work that represents the, the base of the yucca and then you see your main stem then branches off a little flower head and then there's another little branch off flower head and then the main stem which is the main flower head is it has a stone on it so I wanted to incorporate some stone in this and then on the top I got a little sun stamp right there you can see it, it represents the sun Gosh, and it just, I love that copper piece thank you brother and What's, it's Interesting about it too. I remember you showed it to me. If you show the whole, the whole um, like length of it or the yeah. side of it, yeah. you have that that flame patina. Yeah. So it goes from copper to red to black. Yeah. And that's a difficult thing to do. And it's some. It's usually like we. He came up. You came up to us. You're like, is this some way to get rid of it? I'm like, I love it, dude. It's a, <laughs> it's an amazing piece. Yeah. You, you rarely can get that, especially in like. The gradient. Uh huh. So yeah. if you show that left tip where it gets to that red, it's so oh, it's so gorgeous. Yes, and Denise, I see I see what you're saying. You'd like the square bumblebee jasper instead of the Laramar. We can do that. It's the same price, um, so that's going to be awesome. So I'm going to write that down really quick, and then there's somebody else on there I want to um, talk with too. BMBLE. And was this piece for sale, or you said it was a gift, correct? This well, so this is the desert sunset series um, so I'm gonna make 
I, I've already sold like, I don't know, uh, five, five of these. And then I've given away probably three of these to people that were very close to me in my life um, for a special occasion. And so I've gotten a lot of good feedback. So this specific one, I'm showing it off as a model, but it looks like uh, Dixie is interested in it. And I would love to get your, your specific wrist measurement so I can make one custom for you. It's gonna look the same, but she's it's gonna a, be custom fit for you. Uh, and she's yes, a size seven. Okay, Dixie, perfect, size seven, we can do that. Um, let me write that down real quick. Yeah, Sarah Mori, she loves hers. And Denise awesome. wanted that, uh, what's it called? That the Bumblebee square, Jasper? Like seven. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Okay, seven, okay, size seven. And how much were you selling the, the Desert Sunrise set for? Uh, the, no, so the Desert Sunrise was just a copper piece. The Desert Sunset is, sunset. Uh, is 263 oh yeah I should have probably included that before she's like sold <laughs> but she wants it so we'll see Dixie it's 263 and it comes with the copper uh, as well as the silver as well as the hemp paper certificate of authenticity and the sage and the uh, glass vial of sand with a little turquoise from the land of enchantment so, I don't know if that changes things for you um, you could comment and let us know it's 263 and it's all of that, everything that's in the, the screenshot right there. And the sage might be a little different because they're all a little different, they're all unique, they're all handmade, they're all fresh. So it's, it's fun. Uh, but yeah. I'll put you down for that for now and I'll follow up with you. Dixie Blue Sykes, awesome. That's an awesome name, Blue Sykes. Okay, sweet. All right, I'm going to move along. So that's my Desert Sunset series, and I've, I'm going to keep making those out. I like them. Uh, and this is the symbolic, symbolism of what they represent. I'm going to read the um, Certificate of Authenticity one more time, just for those of you turn, tuning in. And it's just got a little basic information about who I am, my tribal affiliation, and then the, the details of the piece. And just to read a couple sentences really quick that encapsulates where the inspiration came from. An enchanting series inspired by adventures on motorcycle throughout the southwest of the United States. Incorporating turquoise stones set in silver with custom stamp work symbolizing the setting sun rays in the desert plains, sporadic vegetation, the yucca, New Mexico state plant, as well as a textured background finish giving the piece a smooth feel of how the wind texturizes the vast blankets of sand. So that's, that's where I got the inspiration for that from my desert series. And I got some pictures. Um, oh, yeah. I was thinking about incorporating a picture on the back of that just for fun. I got some beautiful sunset shots with my motorcycle and, and the desert and it's just amazing. I had an amazing, refreshing, healing, rejuvenating, powerful time. This year has been very powerful for me. Uh, I've experienced a lot of setback, a lot of loss, but a lot of overcoming and in that overcoming there's strengthening. And so I'm just gonna release my strengthening energy into these pieces. And like I said, I wear them uh, and I go do Tai Chi and my Shaolin martial arts and, and then you get them. So you get a little bit more than you asked for maybe in a good way though. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep moving on. Looks like number seven. So Number seven see. sold? Yeah, two. Awesome. I'm trying to remember which one. Which one is number seven? seven? Winter Bumblebee Jasper Triangular. Oh, perfect. That's so that one. one goes to Rebecca Brady. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca. And just to confirm, uh, this is number seven, I believe, if I'm correct. Uh, it's the triangular bumblebee jasper. It goes for 160. It's a thick stone. You're gonna like this. Uh, it's an inch wide and it's 16 gauge. So it's like a hardy piece. You get this thing. It's got mass, and, and I like that when I wear jewelry. I like something with a little. It's a little meaty in a sense, metaphorically. So there's that. Uh, who's that one going to? Uh, Rebecca Brady. Brady. Awesome. Let us know if that's the correct one, Rebecca. And we'll get it out to you. Yeah, Rebecca Brady. Uh, triangle bumblebee. I'm just going to make a quick note real quick. Thank you for your patience. Uh, Desert Sunset. Nice. I saw both of my bumblebee jaspers. Very it's nice. Stone. It's a beautiful stone. I, I like the multifaceted black, yellow, white. And it's Some of these stones are just mind-blowing. The, the beauty of them. You cannot hand make something more beautiful than some of these raw, natural, intricate stones that are just... Organic, I'll say. <laughs> Everybody loves organic these days, including myself. So, all right, I'm gonna move along. I got, got um, a few more pieces. Yeah, just a couple more pieces, and then I'm about done. So, awesome. uh, appreciate y'all's patience. So this this is something similar uh, with the style. 
And this is, again, this is a winter 2020. And it, these are just stones that I have been blessed to come across in this season. And so I'm trying to make beautiful pieces and get them out there in the world and find homes that people are going to love them and cherish them. This is actually called a sunstone. And I believe it's farmed in Oregon. And it almost looks like a pink rose quartz, um, the way it's translucent. And it's just exotic. It's so pretty that I didn't want to do an oxidized pitted finish. I left it a high gloss finish on the stamp work on this piece. And again, I did the repose, which is the bump out type style stamp work. And then I, uh, I just did stamp work surrounding the repose. And this repose is triangular. So the other ones have been circled. This one's triangular. So it's got some nice corners. And I did some corner stamps on the top of the sharp points of the stamp work. And there's my, my corner finish as well. That it's a double corner. I always I always surprise myself how I'm going to finish the corners. And then there's my my oh right, there's my signature stamp is actually closer to this side this time. Usually I do it in the middle. This time I did it right there. There's my signature right there, M A with the T skies symbol because that's the the season of life I'm in, selling at T skies, and um, I should say creating at T skies. So I'm going to go for 160 on this. It is a sunstone. It's almost like a rose quartz, but it's a little bit different. It's mined in Oregon, and it's got the silver, fine silver bezel and fine silver back plate as well. Um, so it's silver on so copper. Nice. So nice. Very, very, very wonderful. I can write that down. What number was that, Marco? That was number nine. Number nine sold. I think Linda already had another piece, too. Yeah. Linda Novak. Novak. Is that Russian? Linda, by chance, Novak. That's a that's a nice name. That's a beautiful name. Okay, okay. Congratulations, Linda. That's my only sunstone piece that I have. I have a little, a few more sunstone stones, but I haven't made anything with them. Sometimes I like to to sit on my stock for a little bit, and just just enjoy them and, and think about what I want to make with them. You have to uh, make some moonstone pieces. So yeah. You have sister sisters to them. Yeah, I would love that. And the moonstone ship had a piece of moonstone recently. I don't know if it's actually from the moon. Prussian. Okay, that's where your last name is, Prussian. I'm going to look that up. That's interesting. But there's just so many stones. This, this life is so amazing. I would love to try to get some stones from different planets. Now that oh, yeah. would be fun. Oh, I have an asteroid I have to show you. I have a little piece of an asteroid that yeah. I want to make. Oh, my gosh. Jess got a stone from Alaska, or Antarctica. Antarctica, yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. That was an interesting stone. It looked like a hybrid of like selenite and like river rock stone. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was unique. I've never seen anything like it. All right, moving along. Let's see, that was my gift. Still got the Laramar. Okay, okay. This is a fun piece. So it's got it's got the beefiness of the previous pieces I've been making that are 16 gauge, inch and 16, probably an inch. I say an inch, but it's like an inch and a 16 wide, uh, thick copper. You know, you got some meat, and then. The, the stamp work, I didn't do an oxidized finish because I wanted to show off this white buffalo stone. Um, it's nice. It's big. It's thick. And then I complemented it with these triangular oblong pieces of turquoise on the sides. And another, another unique feature about this piece is when I bezel the pieces and I mount them on the flat plate which supports the cup of where the stone sits in, I do stamp work around that. So you notice I do some stamp work, which is like border work on the silver, where the stones are set in, and then on top of stamp worked uh, piece of cuff. That's a hardy cuff. So th this one, I'm gonna weigh it just for fun, cause that's, that's a lot of metal, a lot of copper, a lot of silver, and a lot of stone. And just for fun, I'm gonna put a weight to it. Uh, 68.3 grams, so uh, in ounces, 2.41 ounces, so just less than wow. two and a half ounces. So it's, you know, you feel it a little bit. And I, I like that in, in a cuff. You know, not so much earrings. You don't want earrings to be too heavy, but a nice cuff. You, thanks, Patrick. Thanks, guys. I appreciate y'all's support and, and your love. Um, this has been very life-giving for me. And, and like I said, this year has been amazing. And the energy that I'm sourcing in my life through the amount of stuff I've been through and um, I'm just, I'm finding so much joy and healing and life and creating jewelry and the community in the jewelry community has been so wonderful, including Marco and everybody here at the, the T-Skies Co-op. It's just, it's been amazing blessing for me. And so this is, this piece is um, white buffalo, two pieces of triangular long turquoise 
on some repose stamp worked cuff it's copper it's high-end copper we use a lot of pure materials for what we source the purest and the and size on this one looks a little bit bigger too it's the same size okay. um, it could be stretched out a little bit but from tip to tip you're looking at five and three quarter and then you know I can stretch that out to a seven or six and three quarter or six and a half you can tighten it up it just depends on you know what you want or I can make something custom that's much bigger uh, Patrick sold it the seven yes it could be a seven I will um, let me just confirm it just to make 100% sure um, did, I, did I even say a price on this thing yet? No. I didn't, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do so I've been doing 160 on the ones with one stones um, I think I'm just gonna keep it easy at like 170 if that's okay I'm gonna do 170 on this since there's multiple stones and a lot more silver uh, and more stamp work and more detail so I feel like 170s a fair offer if, if you think so and, and again these come with the um, certificate of authenticity on hemp paper I like to to declare that it's hemp <laughs> I'm a big fan of hemp and then the sacred dirt from New Mexico and then the uh, bundle of sage so you get a little gift package for whoever it is special whether it's yourself or somebody else uh, it's size 7 Patrick 170 thank you thank you so much for your business that was so cool. <laughs> all right I gotta write it down real quick if you be patient for a minute, and maybe Marco, you can sing a little bit while I'm writing. <laughs> Not without my guitar. <laughs> I want you to have your guitar for my shows. I know, I need to get my guitar just hanging on the wall in here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, 170, Patrick, the triple stone, copper. Oh, man, I am so excited. This show is going so well. Thank you guys so much uh, for, for your generosity and supporting us artists. And every time you buy from us, uh, you know, we're not Amazon and Walmart and these huge box stores, so, you know, the money to small businesses, it affects our families and, and the economy and community, and it's, I'm sure you've studied economics enough to understand how the tri trickle effect affects everybody, and um, you're buying a piece of us, and then it affords us more time to keep doing what we love and pursue our passion and just keep being a life-giving, contributing member to society as an artist and somebody that's trying to pursue a life of creativity and express their overall self and just connect with a higher purpose in life and you guys are a part of that and I want to share that energy through my jewelry to y'all so we, we really appreciate y'all's y'all's generosity um, and we're, we're excited to be here and, and supply you with beauty who doesn't love jewelry uh, yeah, yeah. every time I give away jewelry like uh, thank you Patrick uh, you honor me too uh, a lady came in the other day and she brought in her granddaughter and her granddaughter I think she was seven she might have been eight just a, a young tiny little girl and, um, you know, she brought her in, and I guess we were a daycare for a little bit. So I'm like, you know what? I want to make this the best daycare experience. You know, she just set her down with her little iPad or whatever it was, and she just was zoning out watching junk, in my opinion, probably. I don't know, some cartoon, which they're not all junk. But anyways, I came up to her, and I said, hello. I said, would you like to make some jewelry? And she lit up. She's like, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> and you see this little, the queen came out, the seven-year-old. And that's my motto, you know, every girl needs jewelry. <laughs> that's how yeah, I feel. Yeah. Guys, too. Yeah, we you know, need I, I wear jewelry. <laughs> but every girl, seven, eight, uh, there's a lady that came in and wanted me to make something for her baby. It's three months old. And I was just, just so honored. You know, it just, it just helps you connect with the intimate, beautiful side of who you are. And so I'm actually thinking of offering some bath salts, too, with essential oils. So you can take a nice bath and just connect with your peace and connect with yourself and just make some self-care time. This this year has been crazy for a lot of us. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you, Patrick. And yeah, it's fun. Life, life, is, life is interesting. Uh, I think I got uh, two more. Do I have two more pieces maybe? Um, and then I'll wrap this up. Uh, so this piece is kind of fun. It's a, little bit, it's a little bit less loud. It's a little bit more dainty. It's a little bit more thin. It's a little bit more simple. Um, I tried to do a stamp combination that sort of looked like corn, which is very symbolic in a sacred regard for the Native American community. Um, and then a lot of them have what's called the Green Corn Festival that celebrates the harvest year. So a long time ago when tribes were living on the land here that we now call the United States of America, a lot of them were nomadic. And then when they learned how to farm, it helped them be in one location which helped them build society and get a little bit more sophisticated with the order of how they organize their tribe. So the corn is one of the most like main staples in a lot of tribes if you look at some of the original histories of the tribes and like indigenous peoples in general. So I tried to 
It's it's kind of like corn. Devin liked it. He thought it was corn. Um, it's like the corn harvest cup. Yeah, so it's like a corn like celebration of bounty and abundance in your life. And then I did this nice uh, matrix spiderweb piece of turquoise. And then I again I did the base plate, gave it a little extra lip, did some stamp work around it with the bezel, and then mounted that to to the base. So this one's like I said, it's a little bit more dainty. It's not as powerful and huge and screaming, but it is powerful in the sense of it represents the abundance in life and the corn, uh, which is just a powerful staple that tribes would gather around and have festivals around. And um, It's a wonderful little piece. Uh, I think it's, it's just stylish enough, just pizzazz enough is a word I like to, to use. And I think I was just going to let this go for maybe maybe one twelve, hundred and twelve dollars and it's sterling silver and it's real turquoise and stamp work and then I think I have my signature yeah I have my signature on the inside of the arm right there you can see the turquoise MA and then I did a little sterling stamp so you know it's 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 silver I'm gonna let that one go for one twelve it's sweet oh sold Cindy nice all right six point seven five yeah let me make sure it's your size um, let's see here About six and a half, uh, so I can stretch it out another quarter inch, no problem. That's doable without affecting the stone or anything. So it's actually, it's actually six and five eighths, so I can be six and three quarters very easy. So thank you, Cindy. This is your piece. I'm gonna I'm gonna connect with you about this piece later. This is this is a beautiful, meaningful piece to me. So let me write that down real quick. Um, Catherine, I can make anything smaller or bigger. I can make something like this if you want something a little bit smaller for the same price. Um, yeah, I know Catherine's one of the smaller wrists and rings. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Cindy Montenegro. Montenegro. I'd like to insinuate the R in Montenegro. It <laughs> sounds like it might, yeah. <laughs> Repose. Repose Montenegro. Hopefully I'm not insulting you or doing it wrong. It's just a beautiful last name. Uh, Silver. Tiny wrist club, yes, Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so that little, um, the little seven-year-old, her wrist was like, the diameter was like, I think five, if, if five yeah. inches. Five inches. Yeah, so it was like, no, I think it was like four. Very might, small. Yeah, it might have been. It might have been five. It's so tiny. I mean, just the. She's just a little girl. It's just cute. So we had fun. We, we made a little piece for her. And this funny. Her dad came and picked her up, and he was like looking at me like kind of awkwardly, you know. And I'm just like, like, you know, this isn't really a daycare. I didn't say that, but you know, if you're gonna have your kid around, I'm, I'm trying <laughs> to make it a good experience. <laughs> yeah, and then she ended up wanting a, a bracelet kit for Christmas. So like, it, it sparked a little inspiration in her to want to do other things like make jewelry. So. Hopefully it, it blessed her life, and, and she'll have that piece for a long time. And I, I paid for it and paid for the stone, and it was from my heart. And I like giving. I, I like gift giving. But thank you guys so much for um, supporting us and buying our stuff. So I think I might have. Um, let's see. These are sold. I just want to go over a couple more. Um, so let's see. Rebecca or somebody. Denise, yeah, so Denise actually claimed this Laramar at first, but then she changed her mind to the Bumblebee Jasper. So this one's still available. I'm gonna sell this one for 160 as well. I've got some exotic stamp work, including the Reposé, which is the bump out, and then I have a nice big thick piece of Laramar um, surrounded by silver, with a silver bezel, with stamp work on the bezel. You're not gonna see a lot of pieces like this go for 160, I don't think, with the amount of metal and how thick it is and how heavy it is. It's about 66 grams, it's beefy. It's wide and it looks good on the wrist. And um, it also comes with a certificate of authenticity made from hemp, from yours truly, from the Native American tribe, the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma, Miccosukee Band. It's a little. Sold on YouTube. Talk nice. Handler. Harley Handler sold. <laughs> nice. So if you want to give us a call, if you haven't already sold bought with us, you, we can get your information. So the Laramar piece to someone on YouTube. Congrats. Nice. Thank you, Harley. You're going to love this piece. I'm gonna write write this down. Harley. Yeah, 
Yeah, so just give us a yeah. call or message us on Facebook, and we'll get that piece out to you. So we have your information. And since we're selling through Tease Guys, what we'll do is we'll send you a cart and $6 shipping, and we'll have it shipped to you through Tease Guys, and you'll be able to pay for your pieces online. There's that one. Um, let's see. So again, I wanted to just show this one more time. Just a couple of these one more time. I just have a few. Uh, thank you, Harley. Yeah, good to see you back again. You're going to love your piece. And uh, I look forward to connecting with all of you that bought a piece from me and just giving you the time of day. And if you want to talk about life, I'm open to that. And just I want to hear your experience with my piece. And like I said, all of my pieces come with a forever guarantee. And I will always stand behind my work. And if something happens to it, communicate with me. I'd like to, to always try to you know, help help whoever needs help with any kind of business pertaining to me in my life. Because I know how many times I've been shorted and stiffed, and <laughs> I make quality stuff, but I stand behind it. So, and I look forward to a relationship with you guys. Anybody that wants to reach out and connect with the artists, you know, I'll make time for you. So, um, this is also I wanted to, to revisit this. This is the first first piece I showed. This is the Desert Sunrise, and um, I'm going to be making more of these. This is a series, and it's the the stone represents the sun. I actually made the stone just a little bit bigger than what I wanted to make it as because there's some rays behind it that I did as stamp work. I didn't really want to cover those for the so for the sake of aesthetics and proportionality, I wanted to um, make it a little bit smaller uh, just so you can see the sun rays. Then I got stamp work and then the vegetation of the yucca plant, which is the state plant for New Mexico, and this commemorates some of my trips on motorcycle that I spent for months earlier this year when the whole COVID thing shut down. I would just load up as much as I could on my KLR 650, which is a dual sport on-road, off-road bike, and just go out in nature for as long as I could, and uh, sometimes even fast a little bit. But I was always safe. I mean, I wore a helmet and gear and everything, but uh, this is the Desert Sunrise. It's my series. I'm going to be selling for $66, and um, it's a little less stamp work, but it's symbolic in a meaningful way. And again, all of my pieces come with that glass vial of the New Mexican sand, which is very sacred here in the earth, the land of enchantment. And the hemp paper, the certificate of authenticity, and then a little custom bundle of sage. Um, and then let's see, do I have anything else? Um, let's see. Did I? I don't think I sold these silver ones. I'll just so, go. Oh, we got Pat and Cindy fighting over it, but Pat was the first one for that last piece. If it's a size, she wants it in a size seven. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, nice bike. Yeah. Thanks, Harley. Sold need size seven uh, for the which one? The copper one. Oh, okay, show. cool. Yeah, so awesome. Yeah, Pat and Cindy. I, I'm making a lot of them, so I can make I can make two. Um, they're fun. I already have like ten. I actually have eight more uh, that I've almost completed, but I'm planning on doing more. It's a series, so I'll be glad to service both you, Cindy and Pat. Uh, a couple bells for you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. I'm gonna write that down really quick. Uh, Cindy, sunrise. And that is Cindy Montenegro. And Pat Hanley. And then Pat J. Hanley. And then number four sold if you can stretch it to six and three quarters. Which one is number four? Ooh, this one. Ooh, nice. So this is number four, I believe, that she's talking about. This is the wild horse with the turquoise and I did some stamp work around yep. the flat plate and some custom cutting around the main stone which is the beautiful nice stone I got. I'm proud of that stone. I wanted to make a real nice piece for it. And the repose bump out stamp work with the black oxidized finish on the pitted part of the stamps and then of course my, my custom stamp on the inside yep. and the T-Skies logo. It's fine. And then the certificate of authenticity with the, the um, Sand with the turquoise and the sage, so that's that's sold as well. How awesome. wonderful! That's number four. Yeah. Four sold. I gotta get more paper. Here, I got some for you. Thanks. Number four sold. Two more for you. Oh, uh, Let's see. Rebecca Brady. Thank you, Marco. Yes, sir. Rebecca Brady. Thank you, Kev, for the shout-out. Amazing work. Thank you, Catherine. Amazing work. Appreciate you. Y'all's love, it, it, it just fills us up, you know. Love is just... Creativity and love are currencies. The energy that comes from those and joy and just 
you know, the type of life you live and the energy that you carry and what you impute into your work, especially as an artist, where there's no form or rules necessarily or laws or codes, um, I'm able to, to be my own architect in a sense. So I appreciate y'all's, y'all's appreciation. It just fills me up and I'm, I'm happy to be here. Um, desert sunrise turquoise is for me. I can wait on you make one. Linda. Yes, ma'am. I'll make you one as well. Linda Somers. Somers. And um, let's see. Beautiful craftsmanship. So gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Rebecca, six and three quarter. Six and three quarter. I'm going to write that part down too. Okay. I think I have one more piece that's for sale. Um, did, did Patrick? No, I think. No, Patrick no, did. Oh, yeah. No. He got. Yeah. He mentioned about it, but he, he got the other other ones. Um, Patrick's probably my best client. Damn, Patrick, I think I owe you a sunrise watch or something, or a sunset you know, hike in the San Diego or something. You've been a really good client of mine. So this one is the first one. Uh, this is the Laramar stone, and that's a nice, thick, wide, long chunk of Laramar. And again, Laramar is harvested from the Dominican Republic, and it's mined from underwater. Uh, we're looking at about a heavy inch by five eighths probably uh, width on that Laramar, uh, which is pretty good. And then um, thickness wise, we're looking at you know, a little over a quarter in the depth and the thickness of it. So it's got some weight. And then I got my nice white buffalo here on this side, which if you notice this white buffalo, it was a lot bigger than this white buffalo. So I had to use a, a, a thicker piece of bezel, which is that sidewall. And then I have a thinner piece for this. They're similar, but they're a little different. And there's little unique anomalies like that in handmade stuff that just gives it the extra eclectic, unique, handmade feel to it. Um, and then again, repose stamp work, which is a two-part system. And you can see from the inside how it's bumped out from the back side, so it gives it depth on the opposite side. So some of those stamps kind of bump out. That's that repose theme. And then I always do some type of custom intricate stamp work in between those and this one I did uh, stamps on the corners as well and got white buffalo I got my signature on the inside which is the T-Skies logo and then M.A. Murray Alexander, Murea, Sterling, Silver and then I got uh, stamp work on the border of that Laramar and then this one also comes with these two little guys and whoever wants this piece This um, one was number five in ours and it was a size six and a quarter, or six and three quarters Six and three quarter size and I'm you had gonna, it priced at 285. 285. Um, I'm. I will include these as well, and I can drill a hole and put put a. I can make these earrings if you want, or I can make them two separate pendants. Oh, uh, sold uh, Harley. Nice Harley. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I think I'm <laughs> sold out. <laughs> I sold about everything. The only thing I didn't present today is uh. Well, Kara, if you're interested in that, I can make. Well, I can't make it exactly because it's never the same stones, but I can make something smaller that's similar if that's something that you did want. Uh, we could follow up. You guys can find me on Facebook, uh, Murray Alexander. I'm on there. Um, that's kind of my personal page. Uh, I need to come up with another page that's like just like my art page because I, I need to go through my Facebook and just <laughs> kind of clean it up, as we all should, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I there, found stuff from back in the day when I was a youngster. Like, yeah. This is embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I have an opinion today that might change tomorrow. But my post from yesterday, <laughs> I should probably. I mean, most of my stuff's pretty neutral. I don't mind. I, I've been open to a lot of people reaching out to me on there, and, and you can open up to me and anybody that wants to. Yeah, Harley, please drill a hole in them. Awesome, Kara, I can make another one for you if you're interested in it. Um, so that's pretty much, I've sold all the pieces I have today. Uh, I'm super blessed. I'm gonna have a wonderful Christmas and New Year's and thank you guys so much. The only thing I didn't show was one of my first desert pieces that I made in series and I've refined that piece. I've got some uh, Chrissy Cola coming in from Morocco and some Madagascar stones and some other uh, raw materials I'm gonna whip up and incorporate it into my first desert piece that some of you have, if some of you have been following us, you've seen it before. I'm modifying and refining some of my pieces. So there's some you didn't see, but you saw most everything. I super appreciate y'all's time today. Very grateful. And uh, I, look, I look forward to, to more, more connection and more time and just sharing my love. And Shep would like to mention one thing. I Can think. we just show this, uh, this necklace one more time? Please, yeah, here, do your thing. Come here. Uh, Come here. Thank you. We've got 
we've got Eddie in the parking lot. So I want to just show this one more time because he's going to go buy Christmas presents if this sells. This is our five pendant Navajo basket set. The set comes with this five pendant necklace. The single pendant. And the earrings. This Navajo medicine basket uh, set by Eddie Nelson. So if you like this, we've got five minutes. Uh, the sale price is $1,800. And I'll include this too as a gift. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> and Mure is going to include, whoever buys that for that man, I'm going to include this copper cuff. It's symbolic of the yucca, it's New Mexico state plant, the vegetation. It's just kind of a plain desert scene. I haven't been selling them. I've actually been giving them away uh, to people that come in, to people that are nice and friendly. I, that's, you can only give those, you can only get that piece from a gift and I'm willing to include that if anybody buys this Navajo basket piece. The Navajo basket set is uh, $1,800. Plus the necklace. Plus the necklace. Right? Yep. You want to show the necklace as well? Yep, we just showed the necklace. Nice. We've got a five pendant necklace with the uh, seamless beads. Don't go to this camera. So this set here, uh, We've got about five minutes on this set. Eddie's out in the parking lot right now. Oh yeah, there we go. I know, it's so bright, my bright shirt. It's a 23 inch necklace. And uh, this is your last chance. So thank you everyone. Wait, I, and I have one last thing that I just started doing because I've noticed uh, that a lot of my clients, they they have different tastes and preferences and some people want some thick silver stuff, more high end with more uh, bigger stones. And then some people, there's been a demand for more copper stuff and things like that. So one thing I came up with recently that I thought was creative is um, I'm going to call it an animal family tag instead of a dog tag. It could be for a cat, it could be for any pet that you have that's an animal um, that's part of your family. This one is just, it says Marlo. This is the name of a dog. And I did some just traditional stamp work. And then I do a turquoise stone. And I do um, a bezel with fine silver, back plate with sterling silver. And, and, then, and then on the back, this one's plain. But I'll put my stamp on there and give it a certificate of authenticity, as well as the sage and the, and the glass vial of New Mexico sand, if you like, as well. And um, this is just kind of cute. I think these are fun. Um, I had a friend that came into the shop. It was actually the woman that I told you about who brought her granddaughter in. We made a piece. She wanted one of these because they just had a pet, which is truly a member of the family. It passed away. His name was Buddy. It was their dog. And I made one for this. And on the back, I wrote um, RIP, rest in peace, Buddy. And then I did the dates. It was like October 2007 to December 2020, something like that. And, and um, I can just kind of customize these and commemorate them however you want. This one I just drilled a hole in, and you could do like a traditional keychain tag if it's for the pet. But if you wanted to wear it as a necklace or a pendant, I could do like a silver um, hook loop here so you can make it as like a necklace if you wanted to. I'm going to start doing these. They're, they're, they're cute, and they're sweet, and they're custom, and it just people love their animals. It's part of your family. I've had dogs that I've connected with so intimately, and I've, I've, I was around horses in my youth. And there's just, there's something mystique about a relationship with an animal that you take care of and you bond with. And so I wanted to not exclude the animals in our lives for jewelry and things that I offer. I think I'm gonna offer these, I think around $60. Uh, and that includes the turquoise, the silver, and the copper, the stamp work, and any kind of other custom uh, engraving him. that you'd like. Him, I'll go ask him right now. He's out uh, the yeah, any kind of custom engraving that you want me to include on the back. I, I was thinking about engraving, but, I, but on the front I'll just do stamp work. So because if you stamp on both sides, sometimes it affects the other side a lot. So that's why I like to do one side stamped. And then this, I actually did an oxidized finish in the pitting of the stamps to give it that kind of um, vintage feel. And then on the back I'll do like an inscribed, I could inscribe it with um, 
just like a Dremel, something, a flex shaft, and you know, put, put your contact information, whether you want your name, your phone number, your email, um, whatever it is you want on there. In case somebody finds your pet, they'll know that, oh look, the pet's got a fancy tag, he's cared for, he's got a family, he's probably got his shots, and somebody's probably missing him. And, and so, I love animals. Um, I've always loved all kinds of animals. I, I could share some amazing stories another time. I've seen some amazing things with horses. Uh, people doing energetic spiritual work with horses and just how sentient and aware animals are. They truly are part of the family. So if you want to commemorate one that passed or if you want a, a tag for identification purposes, this is an animal family tag is what I'm calling this. Um, so I'm going to sell these more and this is fun. So super appreciate well, you guys. Catherine looks like she wants one. Yeah, so I'd love to, to make reach one. Reach out to you on Facebook or how, how should they reach out to any, you? Any way you want. You can send a... Uh, uh, one of those things called the carrier bird pigeons. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can, uh, you can email, you can call, you can Facebook, you can connect with these guys, you can connect with me personally. Uh, I can give you my number if you want to just talk for a little bit. Um, and, and this comes with a certificate of authenticity on hemp paper, as well as the rat custom sage and the uh, three milliliter vial of New Mexico sand, which is the land of enchantment and the dirt is sacred. And then I glue a little piece of turquoise on the top so you have it. So. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Okay, Catherine, I'll reach out to you. So he said he'd do the single pendant for uh, for one twenty, but today, right now only, if you take it right now. Uh, got Mr. Nelson out in the parking lot. Do one twenty for the single pendant. There you go. Sold to Deborah McCullough. Sold, all right. Oh, almost, almost. Oh, Carol. sorry, Carol. So that, yeah, that'll take. If you want the rest of the set with the earrings and the other, the rest of the necklace, uh, that that puts it at about sixteen, sixteen hundred for the whole, for the rest of the set. Cool. And for the outro, I had such a wonderful time. I want to leave you with one little thing. Um, so sometimes I'll go out in nature when I'm watching the sunset or the sunrise and just I want to make a little time to just kind of cleanse and, and relax. I'll do some deep breaths and take, when you breathe, you know, you got your lungs down here. When you're about, you know, six years old and you're coming into a, a little being, you start getting a little bit more aware of fear and panic and uh, fight or flight type thinking kicks in and then your breathing goes from your belly to your chest so when if you look at babies they breathe properly from their diaphragm and they do diaphragmatic breathing and you get a greater oxygen concentration in the circulation of your blood when you're breathing full breaths in your diaphragm sometimes I'll do diaphragm to chest but if you're doing a lot of chest breathing it's, it's shallower and it's better to focus on your diaphragm and your belly so when you inhale you want to extend your belly out exhale suck it in. Sometimes people do box breathing, which is like inhale for three seconds or six seconds or however, and pause for three seconds, exhale for three seconds, pause for three seconds, inhale. And you can play with the timing. Uh, breath work is so key to just being balanced and grounded and relaxed. And then one little quick move I wanted to share, uh, this is just some Tai Chi. And you always want to start with a good horse stance like this. Awesome, thanks. <laughs> there's a few moves. You know, there's some basics like this. You have a holding ball to center. And you're breathing, diaphragmatic breathing. Full inhales, full exhales. And this is called single whip. Coming down. This is my favorite one. Bring it around, come back. And you're just breathing. It seems maybe a little bit cheesy at first and not very intense. But if you engage some of this stuff or you know, 10, 20 minutes, you'll get so refreshed. And it's just amazing the different combinations. So these are the, like the ABC building blocks that you would incorporate so that you can do some long forms and pet the horses and spread the birds. And there's just all kind of things you can do with the flow of your energy and your chi when you come into this stuff. So it's just fun. I just wanted to share that today with you guys and just bless you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I had an awesome show. And uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Have a good night. Thank you, Thanks. guys. Bye.